day trading uh, is highly time consuming. And, uh, you know, I think our life is just too short uh, to use it to spend hours and hours uh, trading and, you know, spending hours in front of your computer screen. Uh, there are just more interesting things to do from my perspective. Also, it's actually very difficult to have a profitable day trading strategy because, uh, uh, mainly because of transaction costs. Right? So every time you make a trade, you need to pay something to your broker or to the platform that you're using. And day trading usually involves many, many trades every day, every week, every month. And so, you know, your returns need to be very high in order to compensate for those fees that you're paying. So the main idea is that um, on some specific days, while the market is closed, uh, companies release information about their earnings, uh, about their profitability, about future investments, etc. And this information will be impounded in the market price of their stocks the day after, starting from the market opening. So our idea is, uh, if we see that there's a lot of volume on a specific stock compared to normal times, uh, then most likely there is new fundamental information about that stock, that company, and the market is adjusting the price. And this adjustment is not immediate most of the time. It may take several minutes. And so we have an opportunity to, uh, you know, surf this wave and to follow the trend and hopefully make some profits out of it. Okay, so let's look at the price of an asset over time, okay, and let's say that we focus on time intervals uh, of five minutes. So we have five, we have 10, we have 50 minutes from the opening. So the price is gonna open at a given level here, and then we follow its path over time. Okay, so it will go up, it will go down, etc. Something like this. I'm just, you know, improvising, of course. So now, the strategy is about focusing on the first five minutes candle, the first five minutes interval here, and precisely we are interested about the maximum of the price. In this case, uh, this level here. So that's our threshold price, and we draw a line here. So the strategy simply says, if in the next five minutes, so in the second five minutes interval, the price actually goes up and breaks out of this threshold, then it's a good time to take a long position in the asset. Okay, so here, if this happens, we go long. And then we keep the position open until the end of the trading day, and we hope that sooner or later the price will continue rising. Now, what is very important here is that you want to observe a lot of trading volume on this period here, because that indicates that something really happened in the fundamentals of the stock. And in the paper, we show that if you uh, condition our strategy, so our ORB strategy, on those days stocks where there's a lot of abnormal trading volume relative to average, this is gonna improve uh, your results uh, drastically. So according to the results in our paper, this strategy, um, you know, historically speaking, so the back test of this strategy was performing much better with respect to long-term investing or passive investing. Past results are not an indication of future results. So if our uh, strategy performed well in the past, this doesn't imply that it will perform well in the future. Also because of market efficiency, right? Because uh, many people are capable of using data to uncover these patterns in stock prices. And once people figure those out, then they would trade accordingly. And by doing that, they would actually erode the returns from this strategy. <music>